We're going to talk about the Kanye West false idol Jesus statue. Now, we've seen it in Los Angeles, so this a lot of people have because it's at Hollywood and La Brea. This is like the beginning of the Walk of Fame, so it's in a very visible area. Do we have a photo of it? So there it is. That's on Hollywood and La Brea right before the Walk of Fame starts, and you have false idol Jesus, Kanye West, and he's wearing some Yeezys. Okay. And it looks like he's wearing like his Jesus piece, too. Yes. Okay. And his Yeezys. Yeah, Those I just real. said that. Oh. You weren't listening, but that's okay. Wow. Those are real? Those are real? Wow. Those are real? I wonder if someone's going to try and steal them. I know. Someone they're like, may try and steal they're them. They're nailed to the... Oh, they're nailed to. The, okay. Course. They're so nailed. this is a, the the person that that <laughs> created this gold Jesus statue is a street artist. He calls himself Plastic Jesus. And he says here, he spoke... <laughs> What is going well, on yeah, over here? Well, They're can't, like, you, behave, they can't I'm, I'm go to the wide you. shot. I'm this is what I'm dealing you. with. I'm trying I'm to inform wow. you on a story, and I've got this, this going on, this fault. chaos. Okay, no, that makes me even more uncomfortable. <laughs> go back to my one shot, okay? <laughs> All right, so he told, the street artist told The Hollywood Reporter, he's a genius at writing, meaning Kanye West, he's a genius at writing and producing, but he's not a god, and that's where we put him. Until there's an issue in his life or a hiccup in his career, then we crucify him. We've seen it before with people like Britney Spears or Lindsay Lohan, the same people who put him into a godlike place are the same yapping at his heels for a piece of flesh when something happens. The piece is intended to be as critical of us as consumers and the media as it is of Kanye himself. We've created this idol from somebody who is clearly talented. I would say the message is this. By all means, treat and respect these people as artists, but don't make them into gods because we crucify our gods. Now, his sculpture, his uh, statue, if you want to look at it one more time, it features nails in each of Kanye's hands. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a crucifixion sculpture, so. Mm. I don't think he's that skinny in real life. Dude. Okay, we can talk, wow. okay, thoughts, five words or less. I ain't saying he's a gold figure. <laughs> Plastic Jesus walks. A mirror stole some of mine. This artist <laughs> nailed it. I can head. <laughs> That's good. Two I gotta points. give myself credit Two for that Two points one. for That's Sam. Good. Okay. I, I love it. First of all, Kanye wished his body looked like that. Um, but I, 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 I agree with what the artist Me is saying. Me too. Because we did to Michael Jackson. We build these stars up on these pedestals, Mariah Carey, on these pedestals just to tear them down and rip them apart and we forget that they're human. And, you know, for all the people who want to hate on Kanye West, let's take it back to the college dropout, 2004. You were all jamming the new workout Pink plans. Pink um, through the wire, and then you had late registration, graduation, all classic, phenomenal hip hop albums that I still jam every day. Yeah. And so Kanye, yes, he is a lyrical genius. Yeah. Kanye West was the man because he was saying things we were all thinking, but we're like, Ooh, yeah, I want to say the that. impact that he had on hip hop is undeniable. Undeniable. So now that he has. He has evolved into the person he is now. He's still a creative person. His, his fashions are great. Those Yeezy shoes, I would kill for a pair. You would kill Absolutely. for a pair? Absolutely, they're dope. Uh -oh. I, they I know where you're out of here. I know where you can find we, a pair. Why, Sam, I know do where you, you not like that? No, I do, I do yeah. like Yeezys. Um, um, here's, the, here's, here's the thing. With Kanye West, I agree with you 100%. Um, I've always been harsh on Kanye because of how he carries himself in the past and things that he says. I've never really liked it. He comes off very narcissistic. However, I've changed my opinion on him ever since he was 5150'd because we do know that he's not mentally stable right now. Mm -hmm. So perhaps all of that was a buildup. I remember seeing that buildup with Amanda Bynes and how manic she was with her tweets. And we would talk about how manic he was with those tweets. That was never a good sign, but we never really knew until he was issued a 5150. Mm -hmm. So, and we still really don't know the details to his mental health. And so for that, I always wanna give that person the benefit of the doubt because we don't know how they would act if they're at a healthy mindset. Um, so I agree with everything that you say, but I, um, I think that some people, I don't want to say deserve it, but some people have to suffer those consequences if they have really shitty attitudes. Of course. I used to put Kanye West in that bubble, and I'm, I don't want to put him in that anymore because of his mental health state Look, until he's better. I, I don't think anyone really believes that Kanye West is a god. I think he says that, and like we make a big deal out of it, but like we know he's just like a guy who's like, but Great people are, are angry that he says that he's a god. Yeah, because then people are like, "How can you be so narcissistic to walk around and claim that you're a god?" A lot of people are genius. that narcissistic, Thank and they're they're not even rubs, close to being as successful as right. totally just but it normal rubs people, people that you know in real life. Hey, why are you talking about me like that? Because it's really annoying, Grace. My narcissist, my rampant narcissist. You get a haircut and think you're freaking god. Uh, oh yeah, she's too much. <laughs> for I me. told you it is Madam Grace from now on. You go. I mean, you go to any social group 
of anyone. There's like that one guy who thinks they're untouchable. Yeah, everyone I, knows that person. Yeah. It's always based on the insecurity too. If you yeah. look at narcissism, it's like it's a it's a front for it's their a insecurity. Yeah, I I was very much prepared to dislike this story hmm. because I you know I, I, it had art installation and golden Jesus and Kanye West. I was like, What's oh, wrong this with art installation yeah. because yeah. a lot because some for Fascist. some I like art. <laughs> you hate art. You want to burn all the art. Jeez, Grace. Art you know what, Grace? This is my art, hair. Art, art how many, this how, is my first day how many back. Art you guys. burnings have you been to? Look, she <laughs> cast her hair. I had a fashion. I just had a feeling that the story would be very pretentious. I don't know why. And Yes, that is probably that is the that one, is very too, the one that's being too. pretentious. Okay, let Grace. Uh, we all, we've Grace. all interrupted Grace. Grace, Grace is your Grace. turn. So your turn. Yes, thank you. It's my turn. Um, so I, I was prepared to dislike the story because I thought it would be maybe a little bit out of touch. And saying that Kanye West was a god and that's why he was this golden statue and that's why I was like, oh, there's an art installation, like as if Kanye West's ego needed any more reason for us to bow down to him. And then I was reading the reasoning behind it and uh, the motivations, and I, I identified it with it completely. I, I, I think that we do. Create these false idols in pop culture, and I think that um, we, do, you know, just like you were saying, <laughs> shut your goddamn mouth, Jason. You never say her name in the studio again. Keep her name out of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, keep your name out of her mouth. You shut your mouth. You're talking. To me. Um, uh, but I, I think that we build up these celebrities only to kind of rejoice, sort of uh, in a very perverted way, when we tear them down. And we've seen that with you know Kanye West and with Beyonce, with, Beyonce with ge with with genuinely like talented people uh, that that are not that are not asking this. But I do think that Kanye West is sort of a, an interesting interesting example or case study in the, the examples of uh, false idols because uh, he has a very sort of symbiotic relationship with the media in who he is married to, in how he conducts himself in public and who he associates with and the things that he has said. I think that uh, he has created himself as much as we have created him in, and it's sort of odd to find where does his media persona begin and where does but he that begin. Maybe that's fault to his mental illness though. Right, and then but then you also hear about people who have met him firsthand away from the cameras who have said that he's just the nicest I person have, they've met. I had a, a whole dinner with him. I sat right next to him at a wedding. And then the SNL tape the come nicest. out where he's like ranting on and on. And so it's yeah. hard to figure out who exactly he is. And I think that this art piece is a little bit of an examination, maybe a sort of... Um, it, uh, just a, sort of like it a, a, a case study. It speaks to us as the consumer. It yeah. speaks to us as the how consumer. Much how I think you put it really, uh, very eloquently as you did too. Um, that we build these people up only to bring them down. How much of him is sad. who we created? Well, you know? well how much of any celebrity is, and you know, and when it comes to okay, you have actors. When it comes to mutant to musicians, I always leave it at the music. I may not like again, and in, in the comments, I know I bring them right, Carrie a lot, but here's why. People hate her, but they, they do. No, yeah. well, a lot of people hate Mariah Carey. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, Amir hates Amir her. Amir hates her. <laughs> <laughs> Amir like, yeah. hates her. But the, the, I don't get the, the 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 point I'm making is this: these musicians give us their gift of music. We 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 connected to them initially by their music. I know for me, Kanye West. His album spoke to me at a time when I was going through dealing with my sexuality and dealing with a lot of things that were very uh, bleak and dark for me, and his music made me laugh. His music was like, yeah. dude, I know girls that that are dating a, uh, an athlete to get a, a new car, you know? And it was just so relatable, and so I I think that we have to disassociate their personality and just dis and disappreciate them for their gift of music and what they and what they've given us thus far. Madonna, Mariah, Michael Jackson, all these Britney Spears, all these people who we've vilified and we've made to be these pariahs uh, in, in society have given us their greatest gift, and that is music. And that's why I, I'm always a fan of Kanye West, because I don't know what the hell he does. I don't know how he eats his Cheerios. I don't know what goes on with him and Kim K, but I do know I love his music, and to me, that's enough. What was Britney, I agree with you, what was Britney's song, Piece of Me? Yeah, you wanna, wanna Piece of Me from me. Blackout, the best Britney album that's, ever. I'm telling that you, was yes. like her. That was like her, 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 her piece de resistance. Her response or, to the media, right. breaking her down. another great song. But that was Britney before Spears. she had the meltdown. But again, do you see what or I'm saying? Lucky, another great another song. Another great song Hit by Britney me, Spears. Baby, but while I said this in a, a video on Pop Trigger a couple weeks ago, is that when these stars, the pain is a muse for these stars. When you're, Sam, or anyone, when you're going through something, yeah. you you it, it 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 wakes up something in you. If you're a creative person that allows you to create and pour all those emotions of negativity or whatever you're going to into, into something that's beautiful. And I think that when Britney was having her meltdown, what better way than to give us the music because that's when it's the most most um, authentic. Versus having someone right can't keep my hands like. 
given you that. I mean, I don't know. Not to hit on Selena <laughs> Gomez, but just as an example. I can't keep my hands to, to my, myself. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> but I'm I saying, like that song, and I like me her. Too. But I'm saying that when stars are going through it. But not like Grace. It, when stars are going through it, you get their best work. Christina Aguilera stripped best album yeah. ever. When she was going through yeah. it, she gives a masterpiece. That's right. You know what I mean? loved stripped. So oh it's my just, gosh. we need to stop trying to Such figure these stars album. out and just appreciate them for their gifts that they're giving us. At least for me. Yeah, I, it's tough. I'll, I agree with you, but then, and then I'll like, <laughs> like but music. then it's no, hard no. for me to listen to a Chris Brown song <laughs> still to this day, even now with the new allegations. No, right. Fuck Chris him. Brown, first of all. Like that's, so that's the motherfucker that we but, keep rewarding yeah. for right. the worst but, behavior. Right, sure. and that's my point. Like it's hard, and even when I saw Kanye being this narcissistic guy, everything that he did, it pissed me off. I could not listen to his music. I don't know why. Sometimes I can't differentiate between that. But then when I did learn that Kanye is, is you know, mentally unstable right now, I, I have empathy for him and I just want him to be Kanye mentally... just says crazy things, though. He hasn't, like, hurt people True. or, like, threatened to but hurt people. But it still people. influences my ma music choices. Yeah. It does. Perhaps it's right. not right. I like that you just want to appreciate the music, but it does... I can't differentiate that. I can't. And I like to know that the person's a good person. For instance, if I met my favorite artist and my favorite artist was an asshole, or I witnessed them being an asshole to someone else, it right. would change my perception of them, and then therefore their music. And that's a natural. And you know, you're not you're not foreign in that. Sam, a lot of people feel that way. I used to feel that way. I just I know that. For me, music is a constant. Music doesn't talk back to you. Yeah. Music doesn't desert you. Doesn't disappoint you. It's at all. Music is like an appetite that um, that. It's like a thirst that you have to have to be satiated. Sometimes you want Kool Aid. Sometimes you want a Moscow Mule. Music does that for me. When I'm in, when I Coldplay, for instance, oh, Moscow Mule. is. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I haven't had a Moscow Mule in six months. Sounds Coldplay great. for me is the perfect band because you could you could you could have sex to them. You could potentially kill yourself to Coldplay. You can cry to Coldplay. <laughs> no, because they 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 bring all these different emotions. Very are, versatile are you music. Are listening to the same band? Yeah. So, so I mean, and, that, and that's and that's you know why. Um, why I think a lot of people feel that way about when they meet stars or they find their stars an asshole is that it's like, damn, I have this, it ruins an image yeah. for them, you know what I mean? But not for me. Yeah, I like that not for you because then what if they're having a bad day? They're human. And I wasn't giving them the benefit of the doubt, which you sucks. Bet. We all have bad days, so. <laughs> you guys just had an amazing, like, therapy well, session. Well, yeah, you were talking to Amir the whole time. Yeah. I wasn't. You were, you're yes, so you were. You I was so. not. You get your Stop. haircut. You go to South yeah, Dakota. You've been back. You've, you've been gone back. for 10 days. So, and, like, you're a different person. Yeah, like, like, great. While you were gone, we were here working. All right, you know what, guys? I'm just going to go home and have sex to Coldplay. Would that make me fit in You better? totally can. Yeah. Warning sign? Sure. I'm sure Lizzie would love that. <gasps> Why would you say her name? <laughs> How dare you say her name? Okay, all right. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. What is this?